question we're going to discuss about laws of exponent. Okay, so before that one, we're going to discuss about this equation. Okay, so we have here a raised to the power of n or the n power. So in this case, we have a as our base and n as our exponent. Okay, so the exponent shows if how many times we're going to multiply the base to itself. Okay. So first law, we have here the product of powers. Okay. So in product of powers, we're going to multiply uh, polynomials with the same base. So we're just going to add the exponent. Okay. So again, so if we're going to multiply uh, po polynomials with the same base, we'll just copy the base then add the exponent. Then we're going to simplify. Okay, so for example, we have here 2 raised to 3 times 2 raised to 5. Okay, so in this case, again, we're going to copy the base, then add the exponents. Okay, so we'll be having here 2 raised to 3 plus 5, so which is 2 raised to 8. Okay, so 2 raised to 8 means, uh, means that we're going to multiply 2 to itself 8 times. Okay, so the product would be 256. Okay, so that is for product of powers. Next, we have here quotient of powers. So we're going to multiply, uh, to divide polynomials with the same base. So we just copy the base, then subtract the exponent. So again, copy the base, then we're going to subtract the exponent. Okay, so we're going to have here a raised to n minus n. So in that case, for example, we have here 3 raised to 5 divided by 3 raised to 3. Then, again, copy the base, that's 3, and then we're going to subtract the exponent, so we're going to have 5 minus 3. Okay, so... We're going to have there 3 raised to 2 or 3 squared. Okay? So what's 3 squared? That's 3 times 3. That would be 9. Okay? So that is for quotient of powers. Okay? Next, next is we have here 0 exponent. Okay? So this uh, law of exponent says that any number raised to 0 is equal to 1. Okay, except, of course, if we have a is equal to 0. Okay, so a should not be equal to 0 there. Okay, so for example, we have here 5 raised to 0 means that we have 1. So again, 5 raised to 0 would be equal to 1. Okay, next we have the negative exponents. So we have here the format a raised to negative n. This is equivalent to 1 over a raised to n. Okay. And a should not be equal to 0 because if our denominator here would be equal to 0, then we will be having an undefined result. Okay? So, for example, we have here 2 raised to negative 3, then we can have here, or that is equivalent to 1 over 2 thirds. So, again, get the inverse and we make the uh, exponent positive. Okay? And this is equivalent to 1 over 8. Okay? So 2 times 2 times 2, that would be 8. Okay? Next, we have in here power of products. So we have here the power of products. We're just going to distribute the exponent on each variable or each coefficient. Okay? So that would be a raised to n times b raised to n, okay? So again, distribute the exponent each, uh, on each variable or coefficient, okay? So for example, we have here 3x raised to, uh, three, the quantity 3x raised to 2, then we'll be having there. So again, distribute exponent 3 raised to 2 times x raised to 2. And then we're going to simplify. So we have 3 times 3 is 9 and then x squared. 
Okay, so that is for power of products. Okay, next we have the power of quotients. So we have here the quantity A over V raised to N or to the N power. Okay, so again, distribute the exponents will be having here the outcome A raised to N over V raised to N. Okay, and V here should not be equal to 0. Again, B should not be equal to 0. Okay. So, for example, we have here 4 over uh, the quantity 4 over y is to 3. Then, we'll be having there. So, again, distribute the exponent 4 is to 3 and then y uh, over y is to 3. And then we're going to simplify. So, that is 4 times 4 times 4. That is 64 and then over y raised to 3 or y cube okay so that is for the power of quotients okay next okay next we have power of a power okay so we have here a raised to n the quantity raised to m okay so that would be a raised to the product of n and m okay so as you can observe we just multiply the exponents Okay, so for example, we have here two raised, uh, the quantity 2 raised to 3 raised to the power of 2. Okay, so that would be, again, multiply the exponents, we'll be having here 2 raised to the product of 3 times uh, 3 and 2, then that would be 2 raised to the power of 6. Okay, and 2 to the 6th power, that would be 64. Okay, so that is for power of a power. Okay? okay, so we have here some applications of the laws of exponents. Okay, so as you can observe in our uh, numerator, we're going to apply power of a power. And then for denominator, apply product of powers. Okay? So in our numerator, distribute the exponent 3 and for our denominator, add the exponent 5 and 4. Okay, so the outcome will be having there 2 raised to 3 and then x raised to the, to the power of 2 times 3. And then we'll be having there the denominator x raised to 5 plus 4. Okay? So the outcome simplify further 2 times 2 times 2 is 8 and then x raised to 2 times 3 is 6. And then for denominator x raised to 5 plus 4, that would be x raised to 9, okay? Again, as you can observe, we have here similar variable in our uh, expression. So, we're going to apply the power of quotients. Again, apply the power of quotients. So we'll be having there 8x raised to 6 minus 9. So, again, we're going to copy the variable x and then sub subtract the exponent. Okay, nine, uh, 6 minus 9. So, the outcome will be having there 8x raised to negative 3. So, again, only x has a negative exponent. So, we're going to get the inverse. So, that would be 8 and then the inverse of x minus 3. That would be 1 over x raised to 3. So we made the we make the uh, exponent negative 3 positive. Okay? And then simplify. So 8 times 1 will be having the 8 over x raised to 3. Okay? So that is an example applying the laws of exponents. Okay? Thank you very much for watching and listening. Please don't forget to subscribe.